From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, Penn State. I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate here with your Campus Weather Service web forecast. It's a cloudy day once again across the Commonwealth today. As we look out over our Beaver Stadium Skycam, notice we can't even see Mount Nittany now with temperatures at 50 and the dew point at 48 here at the surface. It's a prime environment to get some cloud development here at the surface. We had some fog this morning. That has since lifted, but the very low clouds are going to stick around through the next several hours here in State College. Temperatures around the rest of central Pennsylvania fairly similar to us. Low 50s as you head to the east and to the south. Mid and upper 40s as you head off to the west and to the north. And as we look out at the national picture, we're actually warmer than Corpus Christi, Texas, which is relatively unusual for this time of year. We're almost on par with Memphis, Tennessee, and Boston is only a couple degrees behind us. The surge of cold air across the western half of the U.S. is thanks in part to a large upper level trough bringing a lot of cold air in from Canada. One other feature you can see on this map if you look just south of where our marker is for New Orleans, you can see some of those wind streamlines in a uh, circular pattern. That is Hurricane Zeta approaching the New Orleans and Mississippi coast area over the next couple of days, and that will eventually have an impact on our weather as we head into the next several days. I'll time that out for you in a moment. In the meantime, radar and satellite just shows clouds covering the majority of the Commonwealth. A few isolated spritzes here and there. We will have to dodge a couple of those as we head through the afternoon, though they will be fairly light, so just keep the umbrella handy just in case we happen to get one of those. As we head through the rest of the afternoon on future weather, we'll stay mainly cloudy. A few breaks in the clouds are possible just before sunset here in State College. Temperatures falling out of the 50s by midnight. And then as we start the day on Thursday, clouds will build in from the south. They'll be thicker this time. And that will prelude the arrival of rains from Hurricane Zeta. I expect that the majority of Pennsylvania, including State College, will be seeing rain by mid-morning on Thursday. And as we head through the rest of the day on Thursday, there'll be some pockets of heavier rain that we will have to dodge. So flash flooding is a minor concern of mine as we head through the day on Thursday. So of course, if you're going to be out driving, make sure to turn around and don't drown. The other nice thing about this storm is that we are still in drought. So with the possibility that we see one, maybe even two inches of rain from this system, that'll serve us pretty well to put a pretty sizable dent in the drought here in the State College area. And as we head into Friday morning, Zeta will eventually pick up some pretty substantial forward speed and get out of our way relatively quickly. We could just see a very brief changeover to mixed precipitation, maybe a few embedded snowflakes on the backside of Zeta's rains. They'll be more prevalent across northern PA, but I won't rule out the possibility entirely that we see a few flakes here or there in the State College area. Now, as we zoom out to the wider view to carry us through the rest of the week and into the weekend, Zeta, as I said, will quickly get out of our way by Friday evening. During the day on Saturday, a high pressure system will try to briefly take control over the Northeast's weather, and I think it'll have a pretty good shot at keeping us mostly cloud-free during the day on Saturday, and then during the day on Sunday, of course, remember daylight saving time ends during uh, the overnight hours of Sunday morning, 2 a.m. on November 1st to set your clocks back. A low pressure system is going to skirt by across uh, the northern tier of Pennsylvania. Could bring us some light rain, maybe a little bit in the way of lake effect precipitation across the northwest corner of the state. Otherwise, I think it'll be a fairly inactive weather day on Sunday. For today though, 53 degrees for your afternoon high, more clouds and sun, maybe a few breaks like I mentioned, winds out of the west between about 5 and 10 miles an hour, and then overnight tonight we'll dip down only to around 47 degrees under a mostly cloudy sky, could see an isolated sprinkle here or there very late overnight, so just keep an eye out for that. And then during the day tomorrow, this is when we get a lot of the rain from Zeta. I expect it to be a one to maybe day and a half affair with fairly persistent rains. Temperatures not warming up very much during the day on Thursday. And then once that high pressure system begins to take control Friday into Saturday into Sunday, temperatures will be knocked back further into the 40s, but we will warm back up to the 50s just in time for the start of next week. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate. Have a great rest of your day.